Hi guys! As promised, we're doing a flip through video today. It feels like I haven't done one of these in a long time because last month I um, had basically, I hadn't lost my voice, but when I talked it made me cough and when I coughed it made my ribs hurt. So I did a whole silent flip through video. You can check that out if you don't want to listen to my dulcet tones. Um, but this time I'm going to be telling you all about exactly what's in here. This is my first flip through of the new year since I've been using a couple new things for the new, uh, the new 2020 setup and I'm looking forward to sharing them all with you. So if you have comments or questions about any of these inserts, if I forget to mention where something is from, leave a comment below and I will uh, try to track that down for you and get you a link. So first of all, as always, this is my trusty Filofax Malden. It's a pocket size in the color ochre and I love this thing. It just makes me so happy to hold and to use and to touch and to just carry with me. Um, it is also my wallet. So in the front I carry my driver's license, my favorite credit card, <laughs> uh, my health insurance card. This pocket has page flags and the little um, card that I used to cut washi tape. And then I've got a couple of gift cards in the back here. Uh, we'll do pockets first. In the back, I've got a couple ultrasound photos and a little punch card for the watch battery place. Cause yeah, I went there. I keep some stickers in the back pocket um, just to keep them handy. And then a little bit of cash and one or two personal checks so that they're always handy. Uh, the pen I'm using is this Muji gel pen. It's an 05 and I'm loving it. So let's see, uh, these tabs are from Danny's Planner Cuties. I've had these for almost a year now and they're still holding up strong. I put a little packing tape over the tabs so they wouldn't kind of shred too much, but um, yeah, I really like them and they're working well and they're kind of one of my default goes to, go to's. Um, when I don't want to feel like making a whole set of elaborate tabs for a month or whatever. So uh, just cover page at the very front. This is the section that I try to flip through once a day. Every time I flip through my planner, I'm going through this front section. So it's like my monthly setup and then a couple less you'll see. So this monthly is the My Summer Touch, the new like all-in-one monthly. It's uh, number 2500. I remember because it's an even round number. Um, I really like the monthly out here. I like how this turned out. Like pink isn't my favorite color, but I really think that this looks good um, and kind of minimalist and I like, I like it. I believe, yes, all these stickers are from Planner Kate. I haven't used this tracker for anything because I'm not in a tracking place right now. Um, this is my one February to-do goal. I haven't started on it yet. It shouldn't take me that long to get the bulk of it done. I've just been putting it off. These are dated to-dos. So like anything that needs to get done on a specific date happens here. And then this is general to-dos. And currently I have a couple of them, like the boxed off in a friction colors marker so that once I'm done, I can just erase it. And then I can just like look back at the ones that have a box around them. And those are the ones that I'm currently focusing on. This section has the weekly review. So I did it for the first two weeks. Just kind of wrote a little bit of a blurb of how my planning was working for me or how my life was going. Um, I haven't done it the last week. So I don't think I'm going to bother going back and filling that in because it wasn't serving a huge purpose for me. It's kind of a nice thing, but also it's just turned out to be more of an obligation than a benefit. So I dropped it. Uh, this is my bra tracker, which I use to keep track of when I need to wash my bras. So this is one of the things I try to make sure at a bare minimum I fill this out every day or two. Um, this is the same insert. Both of these are the same insert from my Summer Touch, the one thing, one year tracker. Um, I like that it's just on one page and it has space, a little bit of space for a key here. So I got this one line a day journal and basically you fill it out one line every day for 10 years. <laughs> so this is something that I decided to dump on myself as if I don't have enough going on. Um, and so I fill in the days that I've gotten it done. I'm kind of doing them in bulk, like once a week or so. Um, I've been trying, you'll see on some of my dailies to kind of take some notes uh, at the end of the day about what I want to write about. Um, but basically this is just a tracker to fill in like when I've done the day and keep track and as a reminder to do it. 
This is the All My Routines insert, also from my Summer Touch. It's just sort of a place if I need to look at what my AM or PM routines look like, and just to kind of have an idea of what my day looks like. As just for reference, this is my waiting on list. I got an idea from somebody in the comments. I should keep track of who's giving me ideas in the comments. If it was you, thank you. Um, to put like things that you need to talk about with your spouse on your waiting on list, like for context, basically, like, hey, when I'm with this person, we should talk about this thing. So, you know, I'm not sure. It's, it's something to use this for because I don't use it for very much or very often. Someday maybe list. It's, you know, fuller than it should be, but whatever. I guess that's what it's for. The next tab is for weeklies and dailies. So currently I'm using the 2502 for my summer touch. These are also new. Um, these dailies and weeklies. So at first I wasn't really sure what I was doing with it. I was doing some really basic, just black pen on nothing. Throw on a couple of little emoji stickers for fun. This weekend I threw on some washi tape. More minimalism, we're calling it minimalism. <laughs> minimalism. Um, but really it was just that I, I couldn't be bothered to even pull out my planner those two days. I've been suffering through the worst first pregnant, first trimester fatigue uh, this last month and it's really hit me hard in my planning. So some days I pull it out and I use it really well and other days not so much. So like here's an example of a one line a day um, entry that I kind of jot along the side of my daily here. Uh, let's see, this is uh, the weekly that I planned on camera and I like how it turned out. Um, just a little bit of, you know, I use some of these dailies. Actually, I use these pretty well. Pretty much. Didn't really do anything in here over the weekend because I just was available to my family. And then I planned this out a little bit more decoratively um, on sun Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I don't remember when I planned this, but um, decorated it with some stickers and I think it looks pretty good. And then the thing that I was really missing out of these weeklies and dailies was having a weekly to-do list. So I pulled out this trusty Peanuts Planner Co. Uh, weekly daily tracker insert and I use this as an Alistair to-do list. So I have, you know, tasks here, days of the week here, and I check it off as it gets done. I can kind of schedule it in advance by putting a dot in a column that's working. I also have this way to schedule when I'm planning to cook the various things we have food for. And mostly I'm working off this. Like, I didn't do a daily on Monday. I did on Tuesday. I caught, jotted some things down on Wednesday. But, you know then I haven't planned ahead either. So I still have these in here. I'm going to keep using them. I'm probably going to print another weekly Alistair checklist for the next week. And I don't think I'm, I'm not going to keep using these dailies going into next month because it's just too much space for me. Um, and you start to feel guilty if you're not using a daily for too long. Um, it just feels like wasted paper. So I'm going to go back to just using a weekly instead of dailies. And then I do still have these little daily sticky notes from Peanuts Planner Co. These are the ones you buy from her shop and she ships them to you. Um, and these work for me if I have like a busy day that I want a daily for, but without having to like have a bunch of dailies in there. Because I like that it's just on one side of the page. You can toss it when you're done. It's not like, okay, I did the daily on one side, but then now like the other one's on the back side of the page and I've got this day I don't need anymore. Anyway, uh, the next tab is my inbox. This is just a general inbox where I jot down whatever. Um, this is sort of a transfer station between this planner, whose name is Arthur, and my content planner, which is named Hermione. So there you go. Um, and so if I need to transfer anything back and forth and I don't have it handy, I can jot that down here. And then on the back, I just kind of swatched my um, mild liner brush pens so that I could remember what colors they were. <laughs> Next tab is reference, kind of also a couple projects. I added a couple things to here and have not indexed them yet. And so therefore they're at the very front. I need to reorganize this, um, but it's all covered up. Basically, this is a list of documents I need to get for our tax prep. Um, this is a list that 
I've just, these things have been bopping around my head and I keep forgetting to write them down somewhere. So this is a list of things that I need to mend. It's like a couple minutes and a little bit of thread and I haven't gotten around to it, but here we go. This is at least one place to keep them so that I can maybe remember to do them. And then the rest, I think you've seen all of this before. Cleaning schedule, dinner ideas, oh, uh, library books, to watch list. Oh, okay. Uh, this is the, gosh, this is a gift giving insert. I printed it front and back. This was included in the how to print my summer touch inserts video. Um, and so basically I'm using this as my gift ideas and wish list inserts. So I covered up like the stuff that are actual ideas for people, but, um, this is an example. If you actually happen to be someone who watches my videos and you're going to invite us to a uh, first birthday party, just know ahead of time, if you already have a chatter phone, let me know because that's the gift we have in the closet. We had a spare one. So it's here as like a reminder that if we're going to a first birthday party, we already have a gift. It's in the office closet. Um, and then this is a, an idea of, you know, stuff for myself that if I have extra spare spending money, then I can use that. And this is profit and loss stuff for my channel and a wish list idea for my channel. If I had all the money in the world, these are some things I might get for myself. This is um, WizU stuff or my Hogwarts stuff. I'm sort of stepping back from a lot of my jobs on my Hogwarts, but I still have the notes in here because I need to sort of send off a last sort of discharge PM. Um, this little foldy thingy, which I'm not going to open all the way, is a prayer intentions sticky thingy. So it has some prayer intentions on it, so I don't want to show it to you because it's private, but um, it's there. This next section is health. Sort of wavy handy health. So first is this insert where I'm keeping track of my New Year's resolution. The idea is to set a goal. Uh, a smart goal, as it were, every month of the year, and then track kind of how that went. So the first month, I'm like, I'm going to do just 10 crunches per day. Start small. Went really good for a while. Missed a couple days. Okay, fine, because I wasn't feeling well. Did a couple more. My ribs started hurting. I did some through the pain, and I'm like, this isn't helpful. This is only going to hurt me. So I stopped. I didn't finish the last week. Then I'm like, okay, let's do some walking. So I, I put it off for like a week because I was still like late to even get it set up. But then I'm like, okay, great. I'm going to walk a mile, um, you know, these three days. And then uh, on Saturday, I'm like, okay, we're going to walk to the park and back and that'll be a mile. So I walk to the park and as soon as I start walking, I start getting this SPD pain. I started getting SPD pain last time, the last pregnancy. Mm, I want to say around 20, it was in the mid 20s of weeks. I'm 10 weeks now and I've already started to get it. And I'm like, oh my gosh, because it's just, it's excruciating and you can barely walk, you know, I like long distances. And so I've put it off for now. I think I need to talk to my doctor next week when I have my appointment and see what she says about what I can possibly do to exercise. I don't know if I have to do water aerobics. I think the next time I'm going to try is prenatal yoga. Anyway. That's where I am. I'm trying to exercise and my body is not participating. This health log is my summer touch insert. Um, I'll show you this blank one, but basically I like that it's not like this day and then the next day and then the next day. It's like open-ended. You put a date, you put a symptom. And I thought it would be a cool way to kind of keep track of what my symptoms are. I have to go back and backfill because I haven't filled it out for a couple. Um, I haven't put in like that SPD or sciatic or anything yet from the last week. I have to re, you know, go back and track it again. But I just kind of like the idea of it being open-ended and sort of an invitation to keep track, but without it being like, a, oh, you missed a day. How dare you? Uh, then there's also this appointment tracker, which obviously that's covered as well, but it just has space for, you know, year, month, day. Uh, and then, you know, basically just when you're scheduling a whole bunch all at once, I just have them all in one place. And then... The last few things in here I'm not going to show you all of. This is my NFP chart, and then I have a list of questions for the doctor. So I have that all a little bit private. This next section is my future log. So this guy is the Peanuts Planner Co. yearly bundle fold out. I used this all last year. It worked great. So it's the same this year. Then this one is the and beyond. So this would be 2021, anything that happens 
for next year that comes up, I can add it. I have a place to add it. And then this is for beyond that. So anything that happens in 22 and beyond can go here. If I need it to, I just like to have an extra page in there for and beyond because there's always going to be something that pops up in the far future. Then this guy is just an evergreen insert that's got all of my birthdays and anniversaries in my life. So I take a look at that every month as well so I don't forget. And then this is the recurring tasks list, which also I pull out once a month when I do my um, monthly planning. That's what this section is for, once a month. Then the very last section is just like spare paper. So we've got a couple of page flags, a couple of sticky notes, a couple of lined pages, a couple of grid pages, and then a couple uh, sticker sheets that fit in here when I punch them. And then the very last little pocket guy is uh, a couple of more cards, library card, credit card. Uh, and then this guy is some stickers also. These are the littler ones that are like the sample kits. So that I always have something with me so that if something comes up, um, I can have, you know, a little date sticker that I can pop somewhere, you know, just so I can do a little bit of that decorative planning on the go so that you don't feel like you have to delay scheduling something because you don't have somewhere pretty to put it. I know. I know. But anyway, that is what is going on in my planner this month. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. It's been a little bit. And uh, yeah, some things have changed. Other things like the, the structure of it is the same. Some of the inserts I'm using are a little bit new and different. So if you need a refresher of like which one was which, uh, leave that comment below. And like I said, I can get you a link to anything. Uh, if you are not subscribed yet and you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I post videos twice a week on Thursdays and Sundays. So I'll see you in the next one on Sunday. Bye-bye.